Hey, hi, how's it going? My name is Nicole and I make Dungeons and Dragons miniatures and other fantasy stuff. I went and saw Captain Marvel and it was heckin' great. I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I always go see the superhero movies as just like, hey, this is entertainment. Was it entertaining? Yes, I liked it. The end, there you go. So yeah, I went and saw it and there's something in there that I really wanted to make a miniature of. And I'm sure that if you have seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make Goose. Now for those of you who have not seen Captain Marvel yet, just fair warning, this is probably a spoiler. <laughs> I'm putting that out there. This is a spoiler for the movie. If you don't want any spoilers whatsoever, go watch it and then come back and see this, <laughs> okay? <laughs> now that I have fairly warned you, you probably know that if I'm making Goose, I'm making the Flurkin version of Goose. You know, when he's got tentacles coming out of his mouth. This is gonna be a bit of a challenge because you know how much I love tentacles. <laughs> I've also never sculpted a cat before, so hopefully it looks like a cat when I'm done. I've had more experience making monsters and tentacles than I have like just normal animals. Because like monsters and stuff, if you don't get it perfect, no one really knows because it's not a thing that exists. <laughs> But if you mess up a cat, everybody knows your cat is janky as hell, so... We'll just, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see how it goes. <laughs> like tentacles done um, mostly I think I'm probably gonna do more once I have them attached to his head uh, I saved the head for last because like I'm so nervous to do it I don't know if it's gonna look right I don't know if it's gonna, I don't know how to make a cat So this is the stuff that I use. Um, it's good for metal, wooden, plastic, which is good because this is technically plastic. All right, so I have my collection of paints, colors, paint colors, paintses, oops, my paints, got my goose, got some random fucking wires, got my water. Oh, I got this little, this bear. Ugh. This is a uh, soapstone bear that I carved.
Oh, hello, friends and family. Okay, so um, I have painted Goose. Um, I think it looks a lot better than I imagined it was going to look. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to show you. Hopefully, please don't judge my cat sculpting. It obviously needs work, but the rest of it is like really cool. I think he looks kind of neat. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you. So just, all right, let's do the that reveal thing. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Goose. <laughs> I love how his tentacles turned out. They look pretty cool, I think. Especially because we don't really know what the tentacles look like. <laughs> um, I decided to make them super shiny on the inside so they were kind of like wet and like alien looking. As far as Goose goes, like I like how he turned out from like the back. Like I like the paint and stuff. Um, and the collar is cool. And I like making things that challenge me. You know, I always learn something when I do like crazy things like this. I learned that I need to practice making animal heads, <laughs> like normal ones. He's cool. He's an alien. You know, he's not gonna be perfect. Also, I'm sure his face gets a little deformed when he's spitting out giant tentacles. So like, hey, what, uh, what do you want? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me and for being so patient and supportive while I made this guy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see more miniatures or D&D stuff or just art things or just me doing whatever I'm doing. Hit subscribe. I'll see you next time and I love you so much. <laughs> Goodbye.